Hello, and thank you for joining me today to learn more about RAD Review. This video will look at the features and functions that students need to know to get started with RAD Review. The URL is www.radreviewmhe.com. Admins, instructors, and students can log in using this URL. Click on Sign In. If you already have an account, you can sign in using your email address and password. If you have been advised to sign up for an account and you are on campus, click on Sign Up to create your student account. It is very important that you see your institution's name here to know that you are creating an institutional account instead of a free account. Click on Sign Up. And once again, you should see your institution's name here. To create the account, enter your name, email address, your password, and select your course and class sections, and then click on Sign Up. If you do already have an account, you can click here, or you can just sign in from the Sign In page. If you have an account and you forgot your password, you can click on I Forgot My Password to reset your password. Please note, the RAD Review app is available to download through the app and Google Play stores. When you log into the site, you will see your dashboard. At the top of the page, you will see RAD Review course. If you log in and do not see the correct course name, for example, if you see PA exam prep, click on change and then select the correct course. To expand the left-hand navigation, click on the white arrow in the blue box. You can also click on that arrow to hide the left side navigation. Anytime you want to return to the dashboard, you can click on this home dashboard icon, or you can click on the RAD Review logo. Click on the avatar at the bottom of the page to view your profile. Here you can change your password and you can update your information with your academic interests, awards, honors, and publications. Click on the bottom right on save to save any changes that you've made. On the dashboard, you will see the countdown until your target test date. You can change this date by going to the left side navigation and clicking on my study plan. To change your date, select a test date on the calendar. You can also select your prep mode if you want aggressive, moderate, or relaxed. You can choose to receive a weekly progress report. If you do not want to receive a progress report, click on the drop down arrow and select never. You can also select the question type that you would like. You can choose from all questions or only the unanswered questions. If you're ever unsure what something means, click on the question box to read additional information. Once you've made your selections, click on save. Your study plan will show you how many questions you need to answer each week. Let's go back to the dashboard by clicking on dashboard. Next to your target test date, you see the number of questions that you have answered in the past 90 days. You can also see your assignments, including how many you have not yet started, how many are in progress, and how many are done. Next to that, in the gray box, you can see the percentage of practice questions that you have answered correctly and the percentage of questions that were assigned to you that you have answered correctly. You can see your most challenging topics on your dashboard. You can sort these from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. Again, if you are ever unsure what something means, click on the question mark for additional information. On the right hand side of the page, you will see recommended readings based upon your performance. Initially, these readings may be blank. Don't panic. The readings will populate after you've answered some questions. 
These readings come from the Learning Center, which is available on the left side navigation. The Learning Center is adapted from the book Radiography Prep. We made it more digestible for a digital audience. The module outline follows the table of contents of the book. For additional information about the Learning Center, please watch the Learning Center video tutorial. The RAD Review Student Mock Test, which can be found under Full Length Test, contains 200 questions and matches the official exam specifications in terms of numbers of questions per category. You will also find assignments and reports on the left side navigation. For additional information about assignments, please watch the assignments video. Please note that you can get to the help page from the left side navigation. The help page includes useful tutorials and answers to frequently asked questions. If you have any additional questions, please contact user services at userservices at mheducation.com. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.